Hi, I am going to explain you today find the distance from a point, point this point, Q, to the line. So this is the vector equation of the line. Find this distance. So before I explain method one, this I explain method two. First of all, I don't know the coordinate of n, so I go perpendicular from point to the line, distance will be perpendicular. So if I, how do you, because I don't know, I just write x, y, z. Okay, so how do you write vector qn? qn. So x minus 2, coordinate of n, x coordinate n, minus x coordinate y, y coordinate of n, minus y coordinate of q, so y minus 4, then z minus 3, z minus 3, so this is the position vector q n. So if I can find x, y, z, it will be very easy for me. First of all, q n perpendicular to the line, because distance always perpendicular. So what we know from that product, if two lines are perpendicular each other, that product of these two lines will be zero. So Based on this information, so I write basically dot qn, so x minus 2, okay, comma, y minus 4, comma, z minus 3, dot, what is the direction of this line? 4, 7, negative 5. 4, 7, negative 5. So they are equal to 0. It is equal to 0. So when I multiply this, 4 times x minus 2 plus 7 times y minus 4 plus negative 5 times z minus 3. As you know, that product, x coordinate this times this one, y coordinate this times this one, is this, equal zero. So when I work on this, so this is so easy, I just write the result. 4x plus 7y minus 5z minus 21 equals zero. So I got an equation, but... This equation has three unknown. How can I solve this equation? It is impossible. How can I find x, y, z? But this point n lies on this line. So what I do? So first of all, I write the parametric equation it will be easier. What is parametric? equation of this line x will be 1 ok 1 plus 40 y will be minus 2 plus 70 z will be 3 minus 50 so as you know this plus 40 minus 2 73 minus 50. Since this uh, point lies on the line, so I substitute these values here. So basically 4 times x is 1 plus 40 plus 7 times this one, negative minus 2 plus 70 minus 5 times 3, 3 minus 5t 
minus 21 equals 0. Okay, we don't have much room. So, if I expand this, then uh, isolate T, I get T equal T equal 23 over 4 to 5. So, how I get x, y, z? I just substitute this value here. Okay, I write here. x will be 1 plus 4 times 23 over 45. So, x I get 137 over 45. y will be minus 2 plus 7 times 23 over 45 I get y 7 to 1 over 45 so z will be 3 minus 5 23 over 45 I get z 20 over 45 so basically, n coordinate of n I calculated, x equal 1, 37 over 45, y 71 over 45, z will be 20 over 45. Okay. So what I am going to do, I will calcul calculate qn. What is Qn? Qn will be x minus 2. So x this one. So 1, 37, 45, minus 2. Y will be y minus 4. 7 to 1 over 45, minus 4. Z will be z minus 3. So 20 over 45 minus 3 so when I do this cal calculation I get x okay 47 over 45 x cold so this is the position vector 109 over 45 so negative 115 over 4 to 5. This is the position vector of QN, but this is vector. I need to find the magnitude. So, okay, so I am gonna erase somewhere to get a room. I just erase this one. Okay, this one maybe. So, so I need magnitude of QN. So I use distance formula. As you know, distance formula, x coordinate y square plus y coordinate square plus z coordinate square. So I do 4 to 7 over 4 to 5 square plus negative 109 over 4 to 5 square plus negative 115 over 4 to 5 square okay I just take this also then square root this is distance formula basically Pythagorean theorem so I don't go over this formula, but this is basic formulas. So Qn is going to be, when we do this calculation, we get Qn367. Yes. So previously I explained method one. This is method two. I don't know which method is uh, easier. So thank you very much for watching us. Thank you very much.